What's up, y'all? This is Nico London, sitting in with Boss Up. For me on this season, you're gonna see fire, action, truth, the real reveals. I'm not represented 100% accurately at all on the show. I'm the total opposite, off camera. You know, my personality outside of the show. But you know, I'm, I'm the villain, so that's the character I play. That's the character I am, that's who I am. Yeah, me and my wife is actually very, very close. We're like best of friends. Bonnie and Clyde. I mean, you know, we got each other's back to the end. The crusher because, uh, you know, she kind of found out like everyone else. I didn't let her in on it early. Even though we wasn't together, and I didn't really, but you know, we're friends. If I'm saying we're friends and we're cool, and we, we shared so much, so many years together, then yeah, I should have let her in on it, but I didn't. So it did. So it was something that crushed her. She didn't take to it well at all. Were you in love with him? No. What, what were you? How would you describe that relationship? I describe it having fun, having a good time, you know, just living my life. No, I felt that like she never really loved me. I felt like she's, she was honest in that and saying that, you know? She's, we never connected on that level, but we connected on an emotional level. I mean, I'm doing okay. I'm not doing it where I want to be. I don't think um, our values got met in terms of the compensation we got, but I'm doing okay. I mean, I get a check every month. I have 25% of what? Of the book. The Swamp Thing is Returned. I signed a contract with you. It basically means that we did a contract that she tried to renege on and demote me to a finder's fee off of a book that I pretty much put together. I pretty much brought the whole deal to the table. I set up the meetings. I arranged the meetings with her to sit down with the writer every time. I monitored that and for him to write the book. and. We did a contract that she signed, she agreed to. So when I said I owned it, that's what I meant. No, actually I didn't. I mean, I thought it was a great song. And I was, um, I made it a novelty song for a reason. Because, you know, during the sex, the, the shower rod, which that's not a pick that we picked to put out. That's just something that just went viral. I made a song off of it, but nah, we, uh, Nah, we didn't capitalize off the shower rods. I wish we did. Home Depot did, though. I would have to say my wife, <laughs> if I had to say she, 